believe it or not, cycles can be sped up up to 10 times and more if they implement this feature. So here's the idea. This is a scene that I'm working on. It's a scene with heavy lighting and heavy volumetrics. And uh, as you can see, it is incredibly hard to render. So this is at one, two samples. It's incredibly hard to render. Now I've rendered this scene here uh, on my GTX 1070 uh, with uh, 129 samples. This is how it looks. So it looks kind of nice, right? But there's a lot of noise and that's due to the volume metric. So you may try to denoise that image and you're gonna end up, uh, I'm gonna show it in Photoshop because Blender is kind of laggy or something. And you're gonna end up with this image. So let's see here, for example, the difference in the noise. So here's the, the, the noise version and here's the denoised version. Now, here's the thing, if, if, if Cycles had made something like, I would call it an ad adaptive sub-sampling or an adaptive subtiling maybe. So here's the idea, you have, you have all these, uh, uh, all these styles, right? Now, if you know where, for, for example, this is really clean here. I don't want anything more, any samples more here, but I want more samples here and here in, in the car's, um, in the car's um, headlights. So if somehow, and I will tell you how in a minute, if you can see that noise render and make a difference from that noise render. So this is the difference between the noise image and the denoised image. So for example, let, let me show you. So these dark spots need more. So this pixel, this specific pixel needs more um, samples, right? So can we do something like uh, so uh, in after 128 samples, which is a tiny thing for, for this kind of image, right? After 128 samples, you stop the render and you make a denoise uh, image, right? Like this one. And then you see the difference between them. So if you see that that uh, pixel right here, which is, um, which is um, dark, it needs more samples. The difference will tell you exactly that that pixel needs more samples, right? Now, we can even improve on that by adding a grayscale and making some adjustment, curve adjustment. So you're gonna see that difference uh, where it needs more. Uh, here, for example, needs more samples and here doesn't need more samples. And I've made the same thing in Blender. This is a denoised image. I just put in through a difference node and a color ramp node and you get something similar, right? Uh, because Photoshop has some compression. I, um, I accidentally uh, extracted them with compression. But he here's the thing. Cycles, um, uh, it treats every tile the same, right? And it should treat every tile the same because this is the code. I, I have been just re uh, reading it, right? Uh, it should treat every tile the same, but every pixel in each tile should not should should not be treated the same. And if we have some kind of staging and some kind of adaptive sampling based on the denoiser engine, you're gonna notice a huge improvement and and really drop into in that noise. Uh, you if like for example, uh, you you have this here. The the car lights need needs more uh, noise. Uh, needs more samples. You're just gonna uh, put more samples there. You're not gonna put more samples here on or on the human, right? Uh, uh, so why not uh, treat every tile differently? Why not give that tile here, which is right here, give more samples than tile, for example, which is um, right over, let me, which is right over here, for example. So you don't want to do that because uh, each uh, you, you are going to notice a specific 
uh, specific borders between the tiles if they are weighted differently. Weight, uh, weighting of the tile is the easiest thing, but you should not do that. You should extremely just go to each pixel and you want and average it out uh, for, for uh, first uh, ask uh, the neighboring pixels are they okay with it right and update uh, and push more samples to that pixel weight that pixel more right so th th this is the improvement that i'm talking about and i think it will make a huge difference if uh because this denoised image uh even though it looks uh, really uh, better right it does lose a lot of sharpening and a lot of details so we don't want that we want just to up the samples right but up the samples cleverly enough and and wisely enough not to um, not to um, not to waste samples on, on some sky area or something like that where samples are just good enough right and there is no feature in that like uh, in blender but i think uh, it uh, should um, uh, we could uh, potentially uh, potentially uh, integrate uh, something like that and i think this will be a game changer i do have few more ideas about improvements in cycles especially volumetrics volumetrical improvements but uh, I think this is the biggest one. If we implement, if we ask the denoiser on steps where it should uh, improve, uh, it, uh, he will tell you the, the best things uh, to do, right? So, thanks for watching.